So let's just go ahead and take that off, revealing her brains. Hey, v butts I'm back. And today we're gonna be taking a peek inside this Zombies Forever Scream Queens two pack that I picked up at Walmart for about $25 pre-tax here in Canada, but you can get them if you live in the States for around 20. Now, Zombies aren't new products. In fact, they've been out for a while and come in single packs like these ones here, where you get one doll inside of a small coffin with some stickers, accessories, and a checklist, which shows all the dolls that you can get in that collection. And of the 10 you can get, I have three of them, thanks to a wonderful gift from a friend. She sent me Morning Workout, my absolute dreamy, along with Rock in Peace, and Ready to Drop. So technically, if I want to complete the collection, I only need seven more boxes. Luckily, there are codes online to make sure you don't get duplicates. And even though these dolls come with super cute coffins, which you can definitely use to display them, unfortunately, they don't have the same playset aspect to their packaging, which is why I'm going to be checking out this two pack today. So we have a brightly printed cardboard package in the shape of a coffin, which definitely suits the product inside. Zombies Forever is written across the center. And then down at the bottom, we can see our two Scream Queens. On the sides of the coffin, we've got some purple wood paneling, spiders, skulls, crossbones, flowers, bat wings, and filigree, making it look artistically beautiful in these vibrant colors. And then on the back, we can see that our box will transform into a playset. Our two Scream Queens here, a little pet. And then down at the bottom, it says that I can mix and match these pieces today to create my own zombie or add them to other ones that I might already have. Ooh, but first we need to slice the tape. What? Ah, ah, ah. Two, ah, ah, ah. Three, ah, ah, ah. I, I think that's it. <laughs> All right, I know what you guys are thinking. That's the count and he's a vampire, but I don't know of any zombie number songs, okay? So we're just gonna go with it. And here we go, the reveal. Oh, cool. All right, so inside we've got three boxes at the top. This one's black and pink with little heart-shaped cutouts, some with stitches. There's a broken heart in the center. We can see what's under there, but I'm not gonna pull it out just yet. Then we've got two smaller boxes. This one looks sort of like a football play. So it's green with cutouts. There's an X, a one, and an arrow and then some chalk drawings. And then this one here is pink and red with a big trophy and some more cutouts as well as the number two. So maybe I'm supposed to open them in order or maybe it's just telling us where our two zombies are. Regardless, we will get to them in a moment because first I wanna quickly show you this part down here, which is the back of the front of the flap. Once again, it reminds me of a football field, except not at all really. We've just got a white chalk outline once again in the shape of a coffin and then some like distance type markers. So we've got 10, 20, 30 and 40, along with two pink pom-poms, pink cheer funnel or megaphone, don't really know what they're called and honestly don't really care, as well as a pink flag with a skull on it. And the background here, once again, is green. And now for our boxes. So first up, we've got the number two because I'm a rebel. Oh, it just pulled out. Okay, cool. Inside, we've got black and purple striped tissue paper. This reminds me of LOL surprise paper. Very shiny. It looks like it's oily, but it's not, which is interesting. It's very pretty and I'm going to keep it. And guess what guys? There was no zombie inside at all. We've got a purple coffin. Look at that little dog on the front. So cute. Ooh, I love the texture on the side of this. There's lots of images in the plastic here. So we've got skulls and vines. They look very nice. And look at that. There's a pink hinge, which means this opens. Oh, who saw that coming? Not me. Oh, that's awful. Okay, so I've opened it up. Inside, we've got a tissue wrapped surprise, which we will get to in a moment. I can only assume it's our pet. Then there's a pink plastic section with wrinkles. So I feel like this is meant to be a silk liner. But here's the part that I said was awful. On the inside of the coffin lid, we've got paw prints and scratches. If you think about it, that's completely horrible. Or I guess he could just be suddenly undead and clawing his way out. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. So here's that puppy on the front and I can only assume it's going to look exactly like that. So here we go. Um, To be honest, it looks a bit more like a cross between a cat and a hamster to me. But regardless, we've got ourselves a red tan puppy. He's got a little curly tail in the back, some stitches across his bottom, poor thing. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I just keep calling it him because I want to. But regardless, it's wearing a purple t-shirt, has a squished up face with bright blue eyes, eyelashes, sharp teeth, and a tongue that's sticking out. Oh, there's also a scar on its face. Good stuff. And of course, if we open up the coffin, this is where our puppy sleeps. We don't have a name for it yet, so I'm just going to call him, hey you fella. 
That's a long name, isn't it? Oh well. On to box number two, aka box number one. Numero uno, the big cheese. Ooh, inside this one, we've got the exact same black and purple striped tissue paper, except with two wrapped surprises. Let's make some room here. So inside the smaller one, We've got some stuff, like these two pieces here, which are translucent light purple. And if I figure out how to combine them, they'll create a doll stand, question mark? What's happening here? Why, what am I doing wrong? Do they go this way? I don't think so, no, that's not right. Okay, so it fits sideways, but there's a rounded kind of tapered edge telling me it needs to go in this way. Oh, I did it, excellent, okay, there we go. So as I was saying, it's a light purple translucent doll stand. The base has a spider web on it and the actual stand portion sort of looks like a spine. Then we've got our waist hugger at the top and the entire stand is sort of leaning forward at an angle. The other items included these two pom-poms here. One's pink and one is white, each with a little handle at the back so the dolls can hold them. And finally, we have a rubber skirt, which is a really bright purple with a white stripe along the bottom. However, on camera, this looks very, very pink. So we'll just set that off to the side until we find our doll. Next items. Oop. Losing them. Include another stand. This time it's a pale pink. Once again, still translucent, which means we can see through it and also still have to struggle to build it, but I will get it. There we go. <laughs> then we've got another rubber skirt. This time it's pink with a white stripe along the bottom and it's the exact same as the first one. So if I put them side by side, now you can actually see the difference in color. Next, we've got a band hat, I guess. It looks like a cake to me though. It's all white with pink around the top and bottom, a big white brim and a heart in the front and a big old purple feather. And it comes with a matching baton. So it's white in the center where the bar is. And then on either end, we have two big pink gems with skulls on them. And finally, we've got a golden trophy, which is actually a really cool looking skull on a pink base with stars going around the entire thing. Ow, I just hit the camera. And that's everything that came underneath the first two boxes on our playset. Now we need to move them out of the way so we can check out what's under this pink and black one. Do 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 do. We've got our customer care card from Spin Master. Awesome. A little booklet or checklist shaped like a coffin, along with this matching shaped paper surprise bag. And then our dolls, which are surprisingly heavy. I'm just gonna put them down for a sec though. That way we can check out the inside of our playset, which is separated into two different sections of a school. So on top, we've got a hallway with purple lockers, which are kind of cool and gross at the same time. These two over here appear to be dripping some heated pink slime. We've got some photos, mirrors, stickers, combination locks, hearts, a duffel bag, another cheer phone, which I decided is what I'm calling it now. We've got a basketball, a broken mirror, and some pom palms. And then down below, we've got the entrance to a gym or I guess the exit, depending on how you look at it. So in the back, we've got some bleachers there with little people on them, a scoreboard currently set at zero. There's a skull on the back wall, along with some hanging purple and blue bunting. On the floor, we've got a skull in the center of a pink circle. And finally, another cheer phone and a water bottle. Good thing is it's not falling over. I like that. So I'm just going to push it out of the way and grab our other surprises so that we can add them to it. And We'll start by checking out this little booklet here, which says Zombies Forever. Friendship lasts forever on the front. It's reminding us that we can mix and match the pieces and that there's a surprise reveal in the doll's brains. And inside you can see the two packs that are available for purchase. Of course, we're checking out the Scream Queens today, but you can also get a Zombody to Love to pack, which as far as I can tell, contains the only male figure in the line so far. I did see it before, but of course I didn't pick it up then and now I can't locate it. So it's no one's fault but my own, but I'm still going to complain about it. And now we can open the last surprises, which of course will contain our dolls. But this coffin shaped one here has the cards inside, which will tell me their names. So I think I'm going to start with this. Before I do, I just want to point out that all of these surprise bags are made out of paper. This is just the only one that's shaped like a coffin. So there's a little tear strip at the top here, which funny enough, if you pull it would rip your cards. So you kind of got to pull up. There we go. And inside, oh, it's not gonna fit out. Why do they even give us a tear strip if we have to rip it anyways? Well, boo to that. I refuse, so I'm gonna cut it. I can't stand to see it ripped. There we go. That's using my noodle. 
boom. And inside we have our card. Oh no, they don't have names. They're still just called Scream Queens. Well, that was useful. Okay, so this is the front of our card. We can see both of our queens down at the bottom here and they're holding up a poor soul who looks as though she's about to fall. At the top here, it says Zombies Forever and down here just says Scream Queens. There's a little pom-pom, skull and crossbones, looks like a cat and a football. And as you may be able to tell, the card itself does have a holographic foil to it. And on the back here, we can see that they like pom-poms and puppies. There's a little thumbs up skeleton there. And our thumbs down skeleton tells us they dislike broken bones as well as football, which is very interesting considering the type of sport they chose to cheer for. But you know what? We don't judge here. You can like or dislike whatever you want. For example, I dislike the fact that we don't have real names. But that just means we get a chance to be creative. So I'm gonna start with whoever's in this one here and check it out. There is an actual pull tab of the paper zipper so that we can get started. Oh, and it's working. Hold on, I messed it up just a bit. Pretend that didn't go anywhere. Look at it go, look at it go. <laughs> All right, inside, we've got our first doll. She is very, very pink, excluding just a few details. Starting with her hair, we've got blonde at the top, working its way down into pink. This is a molded plastic piece, and it's just left long with a slight wave to it. Her complexion is pink, so is her bodysuit. There is a white stripe going across her chest here with a little point towards her belly button. But still, for the most part, it is pink. And down here at her legs, she's got long white socks, and yep, you guessed it, pink shoes. And in case you've forgotten, these dolls have mix and match pieces, so her legs are not ruined or anything, guys. They do have a swivel to them, so we can make them go backwards or whatever, which definitely adds to the zombie aesthetic. But the main function of these seams here is to allow us to remove them. So if you gently pull off her leg, you'll find a bone inside. Look at that. And this goes for both pieces. This is what she looks like without them until you add other limbs. But I'm not ready with those at the moment, so I'm just gonna stick these back in and show you that her legs can in fact move back and forth here. We've got a big wound on the right right one in the front. Her hands also move, but since her hair is in the way, you're not gonna see much of that. So let's just go ahead and take that off, revealing her brains. And if we zoom in and try to make it clear, hopefully you guys can see that we've got regular brain squiggles. This area is a darker pink with some embedded silver glitter. And we've also got some hidden pictures of stars and shooting stars. That one's a little easier to see than the other one. Since we're zoomed in anyways, let's just turn her around and check out her face, which da -da -da -da, is of course, Pink. Okay, so their eyes are beautiful. At first I thought they were inset, but they're not. They're just painted to look 3D as though they were inset, but they did a pretty good job of it, not gonna lie. So we've got pink irises, dark blue in the middle, and some pink trophies in the centers. She has her eyes literally on the prize, guys. Wow, that was a lot of rhyming. <laughs> She's got pink eyeshadow, black mascara, and lower lashes, as well as some really big faux ones, a light purple lip color, lightly blushed cheeks, a super teeny nose, and some pretty striking orange brows with a big pink pearly scar on the left side, starting in the brow here, going right across her eye, ending up on her cheek. And as far as I can tell, other than a small scratch on her right cheek, everything looks pretty good on her. So we will move on to the other stuff, like she's got a full rotating head, which kind of looks really funny. I'm loving it. I also really like her ears, don't know why, as well as moving arms. So they do have a full rotation as well as the ability to go back and forth. The right arm is fully extended while the left one has a bent elbow and a positioned hand so that she can hold on to some items. So let's dress her up and see what she looks like once we do. I'm going to keep her hair off because it just seems like a much easier way to get things done. And I'm going to shove on her skirt. The opening is quite small, so this should be interesting. Ta-da! Now we'll just pop her hair back into place. She looks really cute. Add her baton right into her hand there. That's why it was left open for us. And give her her hat. Will it stay? Ooh, upside down blizzard ice cream test. And it is! She's really top heavy, but surprisingly it didn't fall off. Now to add her to her stand, which is gonna be quite interesting considering her hair is really close to her back and the stands have quite an angle to them. Like, I don't really see how this is gonna work. Maybe we'll start by taking everything off. Off, question mark. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? And add the hair back on. Hey, that works. Okay, yeah. As long as you put it on first, she's good to go. So I'll just give her her hat back. And ta-da! This is what she looks like. 
Oh, now I'm just gonna take off one of her legs and twist the other around so she looks a bit more creepy. And I've got an idea. Can she hold on to her own leg? Yes, she can. Oh, there you go. Now she is an undead cheerleader. I'm just gonna put her on the field and move her out of the way. And we will move on to the second doll. Kind of ruined the zipper, but that's okay. Ooh, she's purple. Like her face, arms, and legs, love it. And she comes wearing the same outfit as the first one. So that would be the bodysuit with the white stripe going across the chest, pointed down towards the belly button, long white socks, and some purple shoes. As for her hair, it's pulled up into a high pony right on top of her head here, starting with orange and working its way down into pink. And these are all micro braids. Of course, they are molded plastic, but they're styled to be micro braids. And all of that is secured with this big white bow. And if we pull her hair off, you can see that she's got the same brain color underneath with natural brain squiggles and some embedded glitter. But we also have hidden pictures as well. Apparently they just like to tuck things in their brains. So we've got strands of pearls and some bows on either side. And turning her around, you can see that she's got blue eyes with big purple bows in them. Purple eyeshadow, black mascara, lashes, and winged liner. Huge faux lashes, some full pink lips, blushed cheeks, a little nose, a scar and stitches going down her forehead, and finally some big orange brows, which actually do match her hair this time. And guys, no defects. And she's got a different mold than the first doll. Check it out. Number two has bigger eyes, fuller lips, and a fuller nose, which is great because that means they're not just changing the color of the zombie's complexion. That just sounds so weird to say. And when it comes to articulation, it's the exact same as the first doll. Everything moves the exact same, twists the exact same. That includes her arms, head, and legs, which also have removable pieces, but her arms are positioned differently. Both of them are bent at the elbow and have the ability to hold things, which makes perfect sense since she came with pom-poms. But before we try them out, let's just put her skirt on since it will be much easier to do without things in her hands. There you go. She is looking great. Let's just pop her on the stand, add her hair, and now we can stick them in her hands. Ta-da! Just like that, she's ready to cheer for the football team, which she actually dislikes. Makes perfect sense. Oh, but not without a friend. She needs someone to swap cheer ideas and literal body parts with. So just a reminder, we can change the hair and the legs as well as the skirts, which I don't want to do right now because they do take some work. But I will swap the stands because I'm living life on the edge. <laughs> I wish we could swap the heads, but since we can't, this will have to do. I'm going to call her Busted Becky. She just feels like a Becky who dropped pom-poms. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is such a Becky thing to do, don't you think? Oh, hold on. I just noticed that the arms have stitches and gouges taken out of them too. I stopped so I can show you, but turns out you can't see. Never mind. Uh, so just disregard me and we will move on to our next zombie. And I'm gonna name her Scarlotta Screams a lot. Boom. And just like that, our Scream Queens have names, but you know who doesn't? Their undead pup, who I almost forgot about. Oh, and you know what? I think I'm gonna go with Silk Scratch for no reason other than it seems to fit. Don't you think? It's either that or squash face. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Silk Scratch. Yeah. From far away, the eyes just look blue, but there actually are whites there, guys. So if I focus a little bit more, you could probably see it, along with some stitches just between them there. But before, it wasn't showing very well. Okay, guys, that's it for me and our Zombies Forever Scream Queens 2-pack. Overall, the quality of everything was excellent, other than one small scratch on the first doll's face. I love the blind bag packaging being made of paper. I love the cardboard playset being reusable. And I love the fact that we can mix and match these dolls for endless play and customization. Of course, the options are a little limited if you only have a two pack, but luckily they do carry others in the line. So if you happen to pick up any of those, then you will have way more customization options. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video featuring Scarlotta Screams a Lot and Busted Becky. If you did and haven't yet, then please remember to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and all that jazz, because I would hate for you to miss out on any future fun toy reviews. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.